Hey everyone, uh, so today I just uh, finished my workout and today is the 29th day of the fast and uh, I've been uh, I've, I've been losing pretty steady weight and uh, what I've, I've become uh, almost plateaued at about 220 pounds um, but you know I've been seeing a lot of uh, difference in my body fat composition it's definitely been lowering uh, my body fat has gone down 5% over the uh, 30 days which is significant 5% is a lot which means that uh, my even though I've only lost about 10 pounds of body weight um, I still have uh, lost a lot more fat in comparison uh, so that is definitely a positive uh, the thing I wanted to talk about is that uh, what fasting has really um, how, how it has changed me and how it has changed my habits uh, number one thing is that uh, I really don't understand how, my, how I was able to eat so much more before um, uh, I would have I would think that I'm missing out if I don't have a meal or something like that but uh, in this situation I just having one meal pretty much over the last 10 days I've been even skipping my morning meals which uh, usually occurs at about four four o'clock in the morning and then uh, we eat at a uh, 9 30 9 40 so to, uh, today we're gonna be eating at about 9 45 but uh, that is pretty much the whole, only meal I've been having and it has done a lot of wonders for me because it has made me understand that how little I actually do need to eat and uh, how much I have uh, been overeating in the past but uh, after the 30 I'm sure after the 30 days today I've been feeling after my workout that uh, um, if I had a little bit more protein in me I would have made a little bit more difference in my weightlifting but at the same time I've been uh, I've been focusing on my uh, uh, contractions on each of the lift and uh, I've been I haven't been looking forward to uh, lifting heavy weights but at the same time I've been able to hit my about 85% uh, rep uh, one RM so you know I've, I've been increasing my reputation repetition because I would assume that I won't be able to lift heavy but b similarly when I would be doing a pyramid up it uh, it would work out as that uh, I do still have that strength so, for example, if I'm benching, uh, my my highest bench would be about two plates and 25. Uh, I would be able to do three reps um, at a very good pace. But right now, I've been doing. I've been starting at 10 pounds on each side. First, I would start with the bar as a warm up, and then uh, instead of just jumping on the heavy weight, I would work my way up in 10 pound increments, which means that I would have. 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, uh, 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 70, and then all the way to 90, which almost works out to be two plates. So I have been doing uh, just almost my heaviest three rep max, but I'm not uh, pushing myself because I want to focus more on the repetition and the contraction of my muscle rather than just he lifting the heavy weight. So two things I've uh, learned is that um, the amount of calories you need to eat every day is not what it's supposed to be. So you have to figure out what your sweet spot is. I've been uh, probably consuming about 15 to 1500 to 2000 calories. Uh, within that window that I do have allowance to eat but at the same time I'm making sure that it's quality quality food I do have uh, occasional uh, potato chips and stuff like that but uh, even then when when I'm this disciplined even that little bit of junk food works out to be a productive meal for me so uh, that's number one that I d uh, the amount of food that you need to eat immediately changes after you start fasting and number two is that my muscle contractions are actually really good now so now I can feel that when I have my meals uh, when I when I would have my pre-workout protein or um, a regular protein on a, on any daily day I would be uh, feeling a little bit more uh, muscle development uh, rather than just seeing uh, a uh, the, an, an increase in just food intake I, I would actually have a more productive food intake now 
that I've been uh, after I've been fasting. So that's it, guys. Uh, I suggest everyone to try the at least a 10 or 15 day fast routine, and it's not a full day fast. You still have you only have to do 17 hour window of uh, not eating and uh, seven hours of eating. You can figure out whatever time of the day you have 24 hours in the day, and you can figure out whatever time you want to do it, and you can actually do it. So um, uh, I suggest that to everyone now uh, and a couple of days from now I'm going to be doing non-fasted workouts and finally start to make a little bit more muscle development uh, rather than just fat loss. So I know I'll still be losing fat but at the same time I want to look at uh, my muscle development so I can get a little bit more of a uh, physique that I'm looking forward to. So take care guys. It's been, uh, it's, today is the 29th day. I'm looking forward to not, not fasting for the next uh, um, year or so. Um, but I still be doing intermittent fasting at least uh, uh, half a week in a month or so, or one week in a month, or alternate two days in a week or so. But uh, I, it has become one of my major go-to things to that if I'm feeling sick, if I'm feeling uh, toxic, or if I'm feeling just... Uh, uh, wanting to do a little detox fasting is the way to do it guys so um, I would suggest that to everyone and uh, we'll see you on another time I suggest everyone to look at my Instagram and uh, see what my uh, progress has been my Instagram handle is what the fitness and um, what the health and fitness so you guys can take a look at it and uh, let me know what you think take care bye